Oh, shoot some hoops. Shoot some hoops. Dunk. Dunk it. Dunk it. Well, onto the grass. So here we go, night before. There's our valve. Let's open it up. Let's put the, uh, the pump nozzle here on the bike. Doing this with one hand, kind of difficult. The, the uh, valve is rather delicate, so you gotta be careful with it. Okay, so we're at 110, eh, a little less than 110 PSI. So let's take this off. Doo -doo. Woo -wee. All right, so it's the next day. Let's check to see what the pressure is here. All right. Pressure is, oh my gracious, pressure is about 95. Ugh. Okay, I had to push down on the, um, the pump. So it looks like actually pressure is closer to mm, 105 or so. Looks like I did lose a few PSI overnight, um, but not a lot. Interesting. B -b -b bike blogger here. On my way to work. It's a beautiful day outside. Kind of cloudy. Topic of the day. Topic of the day. Air pressure. Air pressure. Air pressure for your tires. Air pressure for your bike tires. Maybe your car tires too, but commuting to work by bike. You got to plan out some things, or maybe not. Maybe you're a person who doesn't do that so much. But you're getting ready the night before, you put out your clothes, you make sure your bike is working okay. It's, you know, you got you know, lube on the chain, uh, the brakes work. Air in the tires, that's like number one. Number one. You gotta have that air in the tires. Air in the tires. Um, so, I ride, right now I'm riding a bike, it's got 28C, 28C, 28, 700C, 28 millimeter wide tires. They're kind of narrow, kind of skinny, kind of higher pressure. I run them at 80 PSI. I could run them higher, but 80 PSI works for me. Uh, I could probably run them a little lower since it's all wet outside right now. To wait for some traffic here. Uh, is that SUV gonna go? Go SUV! Thank you. Cross the road. So I pump up my tires the night before. That can become a problem in the winter. Temperature! Temperature! Oh my gosh, the temperature! Cold temperature makes things contract, which will squeeze more air out of your tires overnight because, believe it or not, your rubber tires are porous, so they leak air even when there's not, you know, an actual gash or a, uh, a pinhole on the tire, and you'll lose some air. Now in the summertime, it's the springtime right now, but it's definitely getting warmer. It's feeling humid too here. In, Missouri, USA. But when it gets warmer outside, uh, you're not gonna lose air as quickly because the heat, depending on where you store your bike overnight, the heat will make, it's, uh, oh man. Oh man, I'm going back to chemistry now. What is that equation? It's, what is it? P over T equals P over T or basic, or is it PV? equals NRT, the ideal gas law. But no, what I'm talking about is for the same volume, basically, if you change the temperature, the pressure has to change too. So basically, if it's cold, you're gonna lose more air. In the summertime, when it's hot, if you store your bike in a barn or a shed or someplace where it's not, climate controlled you'll lose a few psi overnight within a matter of 12 hours 
uh, especially if you got a higher pressure skinny tire bike it could be even worse in the winter depending on how cold it is it could be I don't know I've experienced upwards of 10 psi loss now maybe it could be my gauge my pressure gauge you know like I didn't uh, I don't have a very <laughs> I was just using the gauge on the pump I don't know how accurate that is and by the way when you remove the pump head from a tire you'll lose a little pressure too um, based on whatever was last read on the uh, on the gauge but it's not much it's maybe like 2 psi I guess it depends on the pump and it depends on your technique there's no there's no stop sign there <laughs> kind of weird Almost every intersection here has a stop sign. Not that one back there. Not the one back there. Randalls, let's make a right on Randalls. Let's go this way. Feels like a one-way street because everyone's parked on the left. But I believe it is a two-way street. Just now I got a FedEx to deal with here. Looks like he's kind of just gonna stop in the middle of the road. Okay, easy. Easy. Oh man, this is a bumpy road. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. So, do you pump up your tires overnight? What's your experience? I'm kind of curious because uh, it's one less thing. You know, it's one less thing to deal with in the morning when you're getting ready for work. Unfortunately, like I said, in the, it doesn't work so well in the winter time. Oh yeah, this is a one-way street. I forget about this. I would have to climb the uh, sidewalk. Do I want to climb the sidewalk? Sure. Oh, just a steep sidewalk. Up, 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 up. And yeah, it's kind of bumpy too. Up. So, yeah, in the winter time, you can't get away with it so easily. There's someone walking in the, on the sidewalk, so I'll have to get off into the street here. Whew. Let's make a left. Do, do, do. It looks like this is a two way street. I mean, it doesn't say do not enter. But then again, I was kind of going the wrong way anyway. Woo. Yeah, okay, we can go out this way. Shome. Over here, bike blogger. Make it left. Make it left. <laughs> kind of working my way to work. Working my way to work. Bike commuting to work. A different way today. I like to mix it up and extend my commute a bit. Which means we're not going left. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> Further away from work. Up the hill. Kind of playing chicken right now though with the uh, weather because there is, uh, I wanted to go left. Let's go this way though instead. Going back down to the main street. Kind of playing chicken with the weather like I was saying because it's supposed to downpour in a little bit here. So we're gonna try and wrap this up before that happens to me. After the SUV. After the SUV. Make go to the left. Let's go this way. Should probably have my light on. Let's turn the light on. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on, my block. There we go. I'm gonna make a right here. Fortunately, it looks like I just missed the light because now all the traffic's gonna come. So we'll just sidewalk it because there's likely no pedestrians on this sidewalk. Likely no pedestrians, just a bunch of vegetation. Oh, easy bike blogger. Boy, what a dirty sidewalk. What a dead, dead sidewalk. Got debris all over it. Ooh. <laughs> Went over a utility uh, hatch there. It's a little concerning. 
straight up the sidewalk. Straight up the sidewalk. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to probably get over here soon. It's okay, okay. It's okay, dokie. So with the air pressure for your tires. Air pressure for your tires. Like I said, I've noticed as much as 10 PSI lost. But you can account for that by uh, just pumping up your tires more than you usually would um, to avoid, you know, taking your gloves off outdoors and uh, if you lock up outdoors and uh, pumping up your tire. I mean, generally I can go a whole day without pumping up the tire, you know, the whole 24 hours, no big deal. I don't need to pump up at work, but uh, it is an option. If you just leave a uh, pump at, uh, let's make a turn around here. If you just leave a pump at work, they're not that expensive, what, 20 bucks? Oh man, this is bad. This is like a bad, bad blind spot back there. We can kind of take our time here. We're gonna make a left. The uh, light is red. There's absolutely nobody behind me, by the way. Hey, look at that, there's our green light. I don't even need to hit the brakes. Just watch all the traffic around me to safely exit the uh, intersection there. We're in Brentwood, Missouri right now. Kind of playing around here. Let's make a right. Let's keep following that sedan. The yellow or the yellow the white sedan. What are you talking about, Black Blogger? <laughs> the white sedan. In the drops! In the drops! Oh yeah, I don't think I have my uh, speedometer on the screen today. So, I'm carrying, carry, I'm carrying my phone on my armband. Um, Many different ways you can carry a phone. I kind of discussed that in previous videos. But let's see where left goes. Shoom! Let's see if we can cut through this parking lot. I always like cutting through parking lots. Not always the safest thing to do, but this is, you can tell by the, the way the parking stalls are pointed. It's supposed to be a one way. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can get out down here though. Can I? Oh, wait, I can go this way. Perfect. Ooh, that's interesting. They got a curb separating those two businesses. Just jump over on the other side of the curb there. Wait for traffic. Traffic's not here. Let's check the next one. Let's check the next parking lot. Up the hill. Whew, yeah. So it's um still April. So the end of April though, right? Can you believe it? It's almost May. That's crazy. Can I get out? Can I get out over here? I don't know if I can get out over here. If I can't get out, I can cut through. I can cut through. I can cut through. Oh, let's go this way. There we go. There we go. Cut through. Other side of the parking lot. Hmm. Guess we'll have to come out this way. So. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. There goes another FedEx truck. Kind of, <laughs> kind of seen a lot of those today. Doob 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 doob. Take a left. Follow this sedan now. I think we're gonna make a left bend here, a left turn. So I think straight ahead goes down another. Where does this go? Let's see where this takes us. Just kind of exploring today. Kind of exploring. Can we cut through? Doesn't look like it. There's a solid curb there. Where does this go? That's a train track straight ahead. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the Metrolink light rail system to the left. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Huh. There's a whole bunch of BMWs here. I don't know. It's like they I guess they park all their BMWs there. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, I think it's a car dealership. 
Kind of strange. Kind of strange. All right, let's go this way. Follow us down. To the left. To the left. Yeah, I didn't know there was a car dealership back there. That's kind of interesting. Or maybe it's just a, uh, it's just an auto body shop where they just work on BMWs or German cars. I don't know. Straight ahead, that big white thing is the back end of a grocery store. The left. This is kind of like a short, well, I don't know if it's a shortcut. It's kind of like a, a secret back road to uh, the uh, big box stores to the right, and the Trader Joe's and uh, Target and Micro Center and all those other retail establishments. I'm not going to go that way to the right, though. I'm just going to go straight. Straight up, straight. Doobadoo. It actually feels pretty good outside. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, and so the pressure in my tires is... Um, I checked it before I left, and I had lost a few PSI, but again, it's very much dependent on the temperature difference overnight versus you know when you leave in the daytime so temperature will often drop like you know, 15 20 degrees depends on where you live how, how crazy temperature swings you got uh, depends on uh, your own city scare straight and then right go past the floor hockey rink here Whew. nobody around nice and quiet <laughs> it's all wet inside the floor hockey rink. Maybe we'll go inside. I don't know if it's made out of any different material than normal. It'd be slippery. It looks like it's just concrete. All right. Let's, uh, let's do a little loop in here. Just fun little things to do on your bike commute. Oh, it's getting kind of wet. <laughs> I do have the fenders on this bike, but... um. Making a turn like that, I was actually getting a little spittle, a little spray on my shin. And the drops go! Go! Let's turn around. <laughs> Don't want to get hurt here. So, I need to uh, exit. Looks like that's a door there. I don't know if that opens though or not from this side. <laughs> Could I jump that curb? Maybe, but I'm not going to try it. Because I don't want to pop a tire. Uh, pop a wheelie, pop a tire. Um, let's go this way. Oh man, feeling that humidity. Oh dang. We lasted till about May. Yeah. Lasted till about May here, till I got that hot and humid uh, air going here around where I live. I do prefer the warmth over the cold though, so I'll take that. Um, cold isn't really a big deal because you can just layer up, but it is a hassle to uh, layer up a bunch. It's been a little while since I went past here. Let's see what we got. We got a, looks like a basketball court with a blue, uh, blue pavement. It's kind of strange. Oh, they still do have a volleyball court. Check that out. Although I think they got rid of the... There was, there was a tennis court over here, I think. That's gone now. Oh, shoot some hoops. Shoot some hoops. Dunk. Dunk it. Dunk it. Oh, onto the grass. Oh, dang. Onto the muddy grass. Okay. Let's continue on to work today. Make a left up here, head up the hill. Kind of wet, kind of wet all over the ground, but it's not raining. So that is definitely a positive. We are, we are between waves right now, like I said before. So hopefully we can avoid any major downpour. Up the hill, on my way to work today, on my way to work today. 
Whew. Yeah, one thing I did forget though, I should have brought with me was my water. Oy. Oh well, that's okay. That's okay, we'll get water when we get there. Up. <laughs> I feel pretty drenched right now anyway though, because of all the humidity. Ah. Bug, I'm not working that hard though. Kind of taking it easy. There is a cool breeze. So I do appreciate that quite a bit. Ah, let's follow the sedan. Let's go this way. Hey, is that one of those uh, speed limit things? Oh yeah, there it goes. 17, let's speed up. Uh, 18, 19, ah. Uh. I'm always a little, um, a little scared of going too fast in the wet because I fell once and I really uh, gashed up my arm doing a road rash incident. Although, to be fair, not only was the road kind of wet, it was icy because it was winter time. So I never really, oh, I don't want to, I'm probably going to take this back, but I'm trying to think if I've ever had a bad crash in the rain. I don't think I have. You know, you just got to ride reasonably, reasonably. Ah, dang, a lot more traffic. We will wait. For the traffic. There's a red SUV or car over there getting ready to come out of the driveway. It looks like he has his wheels turned to the left, which gives me an indication he's gonna jump into the across the street, like which is what I want to do. I'm gonna make a left. But I'm gonna have to watch that red guy because it kind of looks like he's got his wheels turned to the left. I don't know if the camera can see, but, uh, oh shoot, now's my chance, right? All right, here we go. There we go, we did it. We did it! We did it! Okay. <laughs> Going straight here. That white SUV does not have a left turn signal on. We're gonna make a right. <laughs> I didn't have a signal on either, but on a bike. Supposed to stick out your hand. Stick out your hand. Bike blog. Let's make a left. Let's make a left. Nice big road. This is a uh this is a wide residential street. I think this is Anna Lee. If memory serves me correctly. Do -do -do. Up the hill. Up the hill. Woo -wee. Nice quiet street. Gonna need to uh I don't know, where am I gonna go now? I think I wanted to go to Webster Grove, so... Which is south of here. It's gonna be a little slightly longer bike commute. Oh, I hear the train! I hear the train! Which means I'm not... Dang, that train horn just keeps going. Let's go see if we can see it. I kind of hoping it's not gonna... I mean, it's gonna be mostly gone when we get there. I don't want to have to wait a long time for the train. Whew. Let's go straight. Do -ba -do. Do -do 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 -do. I think I want to make a left here, take that road kind of diagonal from me right now. Ah. I have an opening to my left, but not to my right, really. I mean, I guess I could have timed it a little better and made it. Problem is, those cars just seem to endlessly come up over the hill over there to the right. We just gotta wait and be patient. Air pressure, air pressure. So what pump do you use, bike blogger? Well, I got an old Joe Blow 
pump. I think it's actually called Joe Blow 2. Okay, is there an opening? I can't see around that truck. Dang it, that was my chance. And I don't know what this guy is. He's going like slow motion there to the left. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. But uh, here we go. Now, what's up with that pickup truck? Why is he like going five miles per hour over there? Let's make it right. Oh yeah, I don't hear the train horn anymore, so the train might be gone. It might be gone. Do, 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 do. That's just some random business, I guess. America flag. Construction use only. I had some sort of emblem on the wall. It might have been a police substation or something. I don't know. Straight. So straight ahead would be the train, but it sounds like it might be uh, past us. So we might have missed it. That's okay. Woo-wee. I think I might be feeling some sprinkles. <laughs> Not the sprinkles you put on ice cream, but sprinkle sprinkles. Rain sprinkles are coming. Dang. Gonna get wet. Talked about that in a previous video. I'm not wearing my rain jacket because it's because it's warm. <coughs> Bugs. Um, left. Because uh, when it gets really warm and then it starts raining, it's not super fun. That guy was out of his car. Why did he get out of his car? Okay, he's back in his car now. I guess we'll wait behind him, or is he just gonna hang back there? Okay, he's rolling forward. I think. Nope. I don't know. He's going forward. Nope. Gonna go around the car. Let's make a right. Oh man! Stop! Stop light. Woo! Come on! Go! 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 Oh well. <laughs> Had to stop light completely. Speed it up. Ah. All right. So what I want to do. Is I'm gonna make a left up ahead. Woo -wee. Mulch! Outdoor fireplaces! Open Saturdays! Open to the public! <laughs> Okie dokes. Anybody behind me? Yes, I think so. It's okay. We'll make a right over here. Or wait, maybe we'll make a left. Making a left. Making a left. Up the hill. Up the hill. Woo. Well, let's go up the steep hill. Oh man. Off the steep hill. <sighs> up. Nobody behind me. Let's get over. The pedestrian. Whew. SUV. Whew. Where the heck does this go? Where the heck does this go? I think I'm behind a bunch of homes. Oh man, I'm feeling the feeling the rain. Let's make a left. Down tuxedo. Boulevard. Up. Whew. 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 Whew yeah, the rain's probably getting on the lens now. I do apologize for that. Oh, looks okay. Uh, I just came up this hill. Why would I? Okay, let's go down the hill. <laughs> oh man, we'll have to come back up, but that's okay. That's okay. Woo! We can relax right now. Just relax. Oh, oh man. Downhill. Downhill. Dog walker. <laughs> oh. oh, it keeps going. I didn't even know it went on. I guess I went. Wow, I didn't know I went that far. Okay, let's go this way. To the right. Oh no, the rain's really starting to come down now. <laughs> oh, see, I shouldn't have extended the bike commute. That's why I'm getting wet now. 
Now I can just go straight across this road because they added this um, multi-use path and I see there's a jogger over there. Looks like he got off the path. So let's go ahead and jump on it. I say multi-use because I think it's uh, it's like meant for uh, not just, you know, walkers, but cyclists as well. Oh, it feels like a sidewalk. There we go. It's a little wider, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it said, uh, there's a sign back there that said keep your distance because of this uh, virus circulating around the community. So just to be wary of that and get it to the far side of the trail if there's somebody coming, hopefully not. Whew. All right. Huh. Couldn't couldn't quite tell what kind of a bridge that was. It seemed like the deck was uh, wooden, but I don't know. Might have been made out of some some other sort of composite. Probably not just straight up wood, but something sort of treated so it can handle the uh, the weather we get around here. That's kind of pretty, right? Nice and quiet and. Let's go this way. This is actually the end of the trail, but the trail continues along this road, at least according to the signage. It's telling you basically, I think, to go straight here, which is kind of funny because this is my old bike commute. So they just kind of made part of my old bike commute part of the trail. They got the sharrows on the ground now. Someone was watching <laughs> what I've been doing. Not really a secret, but it's a nice quiet road you can take to get to Maplewood this way, where I work. Oh my, that rain, it's, it's coming very, very gradually. It's like, um, feels like kind of living in the uh, Pacific Northwest, you know, you get kind of a well, generally speaking, in the past, <laughs> past decades, you get just kind of a, a nice little drizzle trickle. Although with uh, climate change and everything, <laughs> you're seeing some bigger downpours in that region of the world. Woo -wee. Very refreshing though, very refreshing with this rain. Now there is some water on the, uh, on this camera here I got on my bike. Uh, Again, I would wipe the water, but I'd be a little concerned about smearing it and then it'd just be worse. I don't have like a microfiber cloth. I probably should have brought one. Oh man, there's a train up there. Oh dang. Oh dang, sorry. I think you missed it. I think you missed the train. It was very, it was interesting. It looked like it was just the, the locomotive engine. It wasn't really like, you know, all the uh, cargo, cargo cars, cargo. Cargo, uh, I don't know, what do you call parts of the different pieces of a train? I guess a car, boy. Let's slow down here a little bit. Somebody on the trail. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, big puddles there. <laughs> I remember coming along here one time when it was raining, I was like, hey, slow down for the puddles because actually, let's see, can I go this way to avoid that puddle to the right? And then circle back. Yeah, see, we avoided that puddle, but now there's another puddle over here. This is why you need that low air pressure. You get better traction. Ooh, 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 nasty, nasty. I was going kind of quickly, but uh, I think um, you got to go very slow, like maybe five miles per hour, to avoid kicking up the water. All right, so here's the big test. We're gonna go underneath the uh, bridge here and uh, it's flooded in the past. Let's see what we're dealing with. There's a pedestrian, so that's a good sign. All right, so yeah, it's all dry down here. The water looks mighty close though. It's probably about five feet maybe away from flooding. So if the water rose another five feet, it would be flooding, flooding out underneath the bridge back there. 
Woo! So we're still in Webster Groves. I think, yes. Maybe. At least near the creek here. To the left, I think, is... It's kind of strange. I think those businesses to the left are in Maplewood. But this trail might actually be part of Webster Groves. It's kind of weird. The cities are butted up right against each other and they kind of share. Maybe they might share part of the parking lot. I don't know who pays for the parking lot. I guess the developer to maintain it. I don't know. Doo -ba -doo. Woo -wee. A lot of people at the club fitness over there. I thought they went out of business. <laughs> Guess they're still doing business. This vacant spot to the right used to be a McDonald's. And when I say used to be a McDonald's, I mean used to be a McDonald's like, I don't know, six or seven years ago or more than that. Been doing this bike blogger show for a while now. I don't know if the McDonald's was ever even there when I started doing the YouTube. Let's go straight. All right, that was our last major road to cross. Now it's pretty much a straight shot to walk. Going underneath. Um, I think those are Metrolink tracks. We're just going underneath the light rail. Uh, LRT. Light rail train. Up the hill. Up the hill. Truck route to the left. Can I go straight? I think I can go straight. Whew. Yeah, so it says no parking on the right side of the road. So that's why it kind of looks like a one way road here. With everyone parked on the other side, facing the other way, but this is a two way road. Whew. So now another funny thing with all these uh, city borders. I think we're just a block away from the city of St. Louis, so Missouri, so we're kind of at an apex of apex, is that the right word? The nexus of all these cities kind of <laughs> coming together at one point. But now we're in Maplewood now. North. Head north. Let's make a right. Ooh, is this one way? No, it's two way. I always kind of wonder because many of these roads around here, or some of them are one way, but I think it's only within the city of St. Louis, although now I take that back because it says do not enter straight ahead. So that's, that would be a one way street straight ahead. So this street turns into a one way street. Blah. Okay, whatever. So yeah, in my experience with air pressure, I you know. I can pump up the night before uh, if it's going to be warm overnight, but if it's going to be cold overnight, I may not be able to get away with it, or I'll just pump up my tires even higher than I normally would. And I never really pump them to the max. I think the max on, on these tires may be like 120 or 130 or even 140. I don't know. It's like a left. So yeah, I mean. It works for me. That's my experience uh, during, I guess, the normal cycling season. You can pump up the night before. But what's your experience? Let me know. In the comment section right there. Just trying to save a little bit more time in the morning as you get going to work. Oh boy, that's a bump. <laughs> Straight shot to work now. Doop, doop, doo. Thanks for watching. The Bike Blogger Show. Bike commuting to work today. Getting little sprinkles, but we're not getting the heavy rain. So, happy about that. Happy about that. And it's nice and warm. I got my short sleeves on. Very happy about that. Woo! Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Woo!
you're still watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the bike blogger. Let's bike commit to work together. Ah, and the drops. And the drops.